Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Dear students, how are you all? Hope all of you are healthy, wealthy, and fine. I am also well by the grace of Almighty Allah. Are you enjoying your days? You have got ample of time. So don't waste your time. Study regularly and uh, spend uh, quality times with your parents and with your siblings. Are you missing your school, your friends and your teachers? I think, of course, you are very much missing your school and your friends. And of course, I think all of you are missing us very much. I am also missing you very much. Uh, you are uh, spending a lot of time in your home in order to make your time more enjoyable and happy. Our school authority has decided to organize online class for you. And from that platform, I would like to say welcome to all of you, my online class. Here I am with you. I am Tahida Armana, Assistant Teacher English, Dr. Khastagi, Government, Girls High School, Chattogram. Welcome to our class. Today my class is for the students of class 6. And, and my subject is English for, for today, that is English first paper. Before going to the text, I would like to show you a picture. What do you see in the picture? Here is a boy with smiley face. Is he well or sick? What do you think? Of course, he is healthy and he is in good physical shape so we can say he is a healthy boy from this discussion can you guess what will be our today's topic yes today our lesson is health is wealth you will get it in your EFT book in lesson 9 learning outcomes after completing the lesson the students will be able to read and understand text ask and answer questions familiar with some rules of good health write a short paragraph before going to our main text i would like to introduce you with some words that you will, you will find it in your text. When we will read this, read the text, you will uh, get this word in your text. Now we, will try, now we will try to understand the meaning of that, those words. Here are the main words and here are the synonym and antonym. Our first word is wealth. The synonyms of wealth is property and antonym is liability our second word is disease synonym is illness and antonym is health our third word is happy the synonym of happy is cheerful and antonym is unhappy our fourth word is health the synonym of Help is assist and antonym is hamper. Then our next word is proper. The synonym of proper is right and antonym is wrong. Our next word is essential. The synonym of essential is necessary and antonym is unnecessary. 
our last word is nutrition the synonym of nutrition is nourishment and antonym is malnutrition let's see some pictures what do you see in the pictures there are some pictures here first picture uh, we can see that a person he has burned his hand it is a burn and picture number two a man is holding his backside and he is suffering from backache we can easily say that he is suffering from backache then uh, a boy he is suffering from stomach ache and our last picture the boy is suffering from fever so we can say that this is the picture of fever next answer the following questions have you had any of these or any other health problem how many times have you been sick in the past year what do you do when you have a headache or a cold or toothache now dear students have you had any of these or any other health problem how could you answer you can say like this you can say yes i have had some of uh, uh, yes i have uh, had some of these health problems how many times have you been sick in the past year mm, well you can say mm, how many times you can say six times four times three times and our last question what do you do when you have a headache or a cold or toothache uh, you can answer like this when i have a headache i drink tea or uh, coffee uh, because caffeine can lessen pain and sometimes i take paracetamol and for cold what do you do what can you do uh, you can take uh, cold uh, you can take a hot tea or you can take lukewarm water and uh, what do you what, what do you can you can also um, uh, take some medicine and for toothache what can you do uh, you can uh, take a cloth and uh, place it right beside uh, the uh, tooth which is aching and you can uh, gargle with some warm water lukewarm water mixed with some salt and then spit it out and then gradually you will get relief from the toothache then our next slide uh, this is a group work actually uh, according to your text but as you are as you are in at your home so you are not attending your class you can't uh, do this activity as a group we have to do it individually look at some health problems choose several pieces of good advice for each problem there are more pieces of advice than problems here are the problems the problems are number one cough two a backache three a fever four a toothache five a headache six a burn seven the flu and here are the advices take some vitamin c put some ointment on it drink lots of liquid take enough breaks put a heating pad on it put it under cold water take some paracetamol gargle with warm and salt water see a dentist see a doctor 
what you have to do you have to choose a problem first and then you have to choose some advices from this question from this table you have to choose some advices okay dear students let's see the answer cuff a cuff what you can do you can take some vitamin c gargle with warm and salt water and see a doctor if you have cuff you have to do this you can do this okay now what you will do if you have a backache you can put a heating pad on it and number 3 a fever if you got fever then you have to drink lots of liquid and you can take some paracetamol and you can also see a doctor you can add this advice here too and for toothache what you will do and for toothache you have to see a dentist or and you also can gargle with warm and salt water a headache what you will do if you are affected by headache you can take some paracetamol and see a doctor a bird you can put it under cold water or and you can put some ointment on that burned area okay then what you do if you have flu you can take enough rest and you can see a doctor okay and you can also drink lot of liquid if you attacked by flu you can choose several uh, two or three advices for each problem okay now our next slide work with a partner make a short conversation about each problem here are the problems and here are the remedy now problem number 1 an insect bite a stomach stomach ache a burn a skin injury what you have to do you have to select a problem and and then you have to select the remedy from this portion then you have to make a dialogue with your partner here are the remedy antiseptic and antacid burnal ointment antiseptic now let's see below one is done for you here is an example for you for insect bite the problem is insect bite now here are the conversation between two friends have you ever had an insect bite b is saying oh yes i had one just last year now a is saying what did you do b is saying i put some antiseptic okay dear is it clear to you what you have to do you have to select a piece of problem then you have to select the remedy of this problem and make conversation with your partner now i think uh, it will not be very much difficult for you you can easily make some conversation like this now i would like to help you uh now dear if the problem is stomach ache suppose the problem is stomach ache how you could say how you could 
uh, make the conversation with your friend you could say have you ever had a stomach ache and then your friend will answer oh yes i had it several times then you will again say what did you do then your uh, friend will answer i took antacid then next then our next problem is a burn then how could you start your conversation you can say have you ever had a burn your friend will answer oh yes i had a burn four months ago then uh, what did you do then your friend will answer i put some burnal ointment on it then our last problem is a skin injury okay then you can say have you ever had a skin injury your partner will say oh yes i had a skin injury injury two weeks ago then you will say what did you do then your friend may answer i put some antiseptic on it i think it will not be very much difficult for you then i am moving to my next slide this is model reading by the teacher i will read out the text and you will listen to me attentively then answer the following questions here are some questions at first read out the questions what do you mean by hygiene what are essential for good health what do you mean by balanced diet and what are the rules of personal hygiene read this questions again and again and attentively hear me try to hear me very much attentively okay i am going to my next slide here open your book and keep it aside and listen to me carefully a proverb says health is wealth to keep healthy is to keep free from disease and anxiety good health is proper functioning of all body organs it is also feeling well in body and in mind people in good health are active cheerful and happy if you are healthy you can be happy and can help others in society as well here is a picture there you can see they are very much happy they are playing some games and they are very much happy and cheerful there are some pictures some attractive pictures here now to keep in good health we should be careful about hygiene the rules and practices of keeping good health are called hygiene we must practice the rules of hygiene proper food and nutrition physical exercise rest and sleep cleanliness and proper medicare are essential for good health okay here are some fresh food uh, here uh, the person is washing her hands and they are taking physical exercise they are uh, all of these are very much essential to keep in good health now there are some other other pictures here some important rules of good personal health are as follows number a balanced diet our food should contain correct proportion of carbohydrates fat protein vitamins minerals and water in it 
these are the pictures of a balanced diet. Okay. There are other pictures. Number B, personal hygiene. We should follow the personal health practices such as wash your hand before eating, bath regularly and wear clean clothes. Brush your teeth twice regularly. Do not let your nails grow long. Cut them regularly. Wash your feet and hands before going to bed. Here, see they are brushing their teeth and here they are cutting their nails and uh, he is and she is uh, washing her hands. Before eating, she is washing her hands. And here are some clean clothes, what we have to wear every day. Then I'm moving to my next slide. Some beautiful pictures here. Are you enjoying your lesson? I think all of you are enjoying. Here, number C, cleaning household. We should keep our household and environment clean. Number D, taking clean food and water. Our food should be fresh, clean and properly cooked. And water should be pure. Number E, taking regular exercise. We should take part in games and sports and take physical exercise regularly. Number F, taking regular sleep and rest. We should sleep properly and take proper rest. Here in the picture, the woman is cleaning her house and she's keeping her house clean and uh, very much clean and hygienic. And here the baby is sleeping and here the women is drinking pure water and here they are taking exercise, physical exercise. Now, those questions here again, answer the following questions. What do you mean by hygiene? What are essential for good health? What do you mean by balanced diet? And what are the rules of personal hygiene? I think all of you have listened to me carefully and you will be able to uh, write down the answer of these questions. I have already prepared the answer for you. Let's match the answer with me. Here is the answer of question number one. What do you mean by hygiene? By hygiene, we mean the rules and practices of keeping good health. Number two, what are essential for good health? The answer is proper food and nutrition, physical exercise, rest and sleep, cleanliness and proper Medicare are essential for good health. Number three, what do you mean by balanced diet? Balanced diet means correct proportion of carbohydrates, fat, protein, vitamins and minerals and water in our food. Number four, what are the rules of personal hygiene? The rules of personal hygiene are, we should wash our hands before eating. We should bath regularly and wear clean clothes. We should 
brush our teeth twice daily we should we should not let our nails grow long and etc here you can write you you have i have to uh, you, we should cut them regularly and we can also you can also write uh, the next answer uh, uh, we should wash our feet and hands before going to bed okay dear students now you can open your book and you can match the answer with me okay now this is evaluation uh, this is the choose the best answer this is an activity this activity is outside from your text i will check you how much you could learn now our first sentence a proverb says health is wealth here the word wealth means number one organ number two property number three body and number four health okay what will be the answer can you guess i think all of you can choose the answer right answer okay our answer will be property here the wealth means property next to keep healthy is to keep free from disease and anxiety here anxiety means happiness blazing tension and tranquility here the answer is tension our next word is our food should contain right amount of protein vitamins minerals all the elements of food all of you know that our food should contain right amount of all the elements of food that that is we should eat balanced diet every day then next which of the following word is not similar to the word careful okay here i have said not similar of careful cautious this is similar to careful absent minded is it similar to careful what do you think then next alert this is similar to careful and mindful this is also similar to careful but in our question uh, it is said not similar so we can easily guess that the answer will be number 2 that is absent minded then fifth number practicing the rules of health ensures progress peace in the society good health only mental peace you know practice uh, practicing the rules of health ensures what only progress only peace and only mental peace no the answer will be good health now dear students i am at the end of my lesson here i would like to give you a homework here uh, you have to write a short paragraph on the rules of good health here we have discussed a lot i think it will be easier for you and you have ample of time so dear students don't idle away your time what you have to do to write down the paragraph you have to go through the paragraph text 
again and again and then you can write the paragraph on the rules of good health here i am again discussing about the text and i am giving you some clues how you, how you could write the paragraph here you can start like this keeping good health is essential for all of us to keep healthy is to keep free from disease and anxiety good uh, health is proper functioning of all physical organs it also refers to sound mind in a sound body you people you know uh, people in good health are generally active cheerful and happy and and healthy person can help others in the society to keep good health uh, we should be careful about hygiene the rules and practices of keeping good health are called hygiene then we can write to preserve good health we should take balanced diet and nutrition we should take physical exercise regularly we should take rest and sleep well we should maintain cleanliness everywhere in our life then you can write uh, we should wash our hands before eating and after eating we should take bath regularly and wear clean clothes and we should uh, brush our hair and um, we should uh, brush our teeth regularly and cut our nails and we should not do anything wrong and immoral and uh, you can write you sh we should keep our household and environment neat and clean and by doing this all of these activities we can keep ourselves healthy wealthy and wise and last of all uh, you can write we should control our emotions for soundness of mind and we should lead our life in a disciplined way by this way um, good health can be preserve okay go through the text again and it will be a very much easier for you to write down the paragraph okay dear students ending my lesson i would like to say you thank you for watching my class and um, take care of your health and maintain the rules of health to keep away from to keep yourself away from coronavirus always uh, remember your creator and say your prayers regularly and keep me in your prayer see you in the next class till then Bye. Allah Hafiz.